We've talked so much about Ben Simmons not being there, but let's let's talk about this Nets team who there were concerns be would after that Milwaukee game. I, I know we don't want to overreact, but but this was impressive to see, especially what Durant did, but then LaMarcus Aldridge, Patty Mills, those guys stepping up. Well, we know what Kevin Durant's going to bring to the table. Um, we know what James Harden is going to do. And the question is always for this type of team is going to be, hey, how do your role players step up when they're needed? And we saw tonight guys like Patty Mills, LaMarcus Aldridge, those guys were able to come in and help make some big-time plays, and that's what it's really all about. Can those guys step up in high-leverage moments? And they have some guys that have playoff experience. They've been there before. A guy like Patty Mills is never going to be scared at the moment. Yeah, and, and the, the fourth quarter w was the key in this one, as I said. The Nets down by as many as 14 in this game. They outscore Philadelphia 29-18. to 18. So, yeah, as much of a, 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 as there is a positive for the Nets um, in this game, I, I think the concern that, that you guys have brought up here is, other than Embiid, and, and even in addition to Embiid, how are they getting offense? Yes, they have guys who can score, but who's initiating that offense without Simmons in the lineup? Yeah, and, it, and it's not just the score. I mean, the last six minutes when you're playing against those elite-level teams, you have to have dynamic players on the floor that really put pressure on the defense. And if you watch that game down the stretch, and we were sitting here watching it, their shot selection, their ability to generate offense in the half court against a, a set defense – they struggle. They struggle to get good looks, and, and it harkens all the way back to the postseason last year. We saw it against Atlanta. Yep. What happens is you, as a defensive team, you look at their roster and you feel like we can guard all their guys. Like, we don't have to break our defense down. We don't have to commit to our rotations early. And even with Embiid, a lot of times you watch him, he'll settle for the mid-range jump shot. Yep. You know, as opposed to maybe going down on the block where now they are going to be forced to have to be in rotation. So that's something that they got to look at in terms of how they want to attack late game situations. But that roster right now, when you watch how the game was played, they struggle to generate quality shots down the stretch. And that's how the game's going to be played in the postseason when you start facing the best teams. You're not going to be just playing up and down. It's right. going to be five on five. It's going to be physical. And you're going to have to be able to put the defense on its heels. And tonight, Philadelphia was not able to do that.